Hi, this is Newell Davis with Warma Culture, and here's our week. Well, actually, it's not seven, it's eight. Um, I missed one of the weeks in between, so this is our two week update from week six. So here's our week eight update, and let's go to the bin. All right. Still, good amount of moisture on the lid here. So this bin is very, very moist. Uh, we still have our burlap in here. Looks pretty good. We still have quite a few worms here throughout this burlap, this layer. Let's just see some of the other layers. This is really starting to kind of rip apart a little bit. And uh, let's just see here. Not work as well as far as, oh yeah, we still got tons of worms in here. Look at this. This is loaded with worms. There's a ton of worms right in here. I'm not sure if you can see it in the lighting here, but there's a lot of worms right around here in the uh, coffee ground. So I don't know, I don't know if you remember two weeks ago we had these little tiny white worms that looked like, I don't know if they were pot worms, which I think, but they were kind of, they were very white. They weren't translucent really. But uh, I don't know if those were worms and they finally have grown up or what, but a lot of worms in there. A lot of worms on this level too. I mean, there's a, there's a lot in here. Uh, now, bedding material, some of it's still, still dry in this corner over here. So there's, it's not too wet down here. There's actually a couple worms down in this corner. Oh, you can't see that. But uh, let's just going to paint this like this. Here we go. Right in this corner right here. It's, it's, it's damp, but it's not soaking wet. Same with that. This is still just a little bit dry, but I mean, look at all the worms in here. I mean, there's a, there's a ton. Let's just see. I don't see any little white worms this time. Uh, maybe a couple in here. But... I don't know if those are worms or not. I don't know what they are, but there are actually there are more, or there's more of them in here again, in this area of the coffee grounds. So I don't know if maybe they just don't like coffee grounds as much and they don't grow as big or what's going on. But there's still a lot of worms, especially in this area. I was, I was kind of surprised at how many are in here. Um, you know, there's a lot of good compost in here. It's not too wet, not too dry. This actually is a pretty good established bin right now. I could, uh, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to throw in a good amount of food here. Fold this back over into the bottom here. And what I have here, if I can get it apart, I might just throw all this in now. I was hoping to be able to pull this apart. This is actually all frozen pumpkins, which if you watch my next video, it's going to be about our favorite holiday. All right, this is too frozen. I might have just, just I might just throw this all in here. So this is a big base on it, but this is frozen solid. And I was hoping that I could just sort of rip this off a little by little, but uh, it doesn't appear so. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to do something I, know I do sometimes, which is take a huge amount, dig up the base a little bit here, throw it in upside down, so that way it's in contact with some of the compost. I'm going to just roll this back over, and we're going to check this out in a couple weeks. Or actually, we'll check it out in a week. We'll, we'll keep our week schedule or try to. Sorry about missing a week there in between. But we'll try to uh, check this out and, and see what happens to this within a week. Because I found that pumpkin disappears pretty quickly in a bin. Uh, it's more like a watermelon type. It's usually a little moist and it's something that they really, really like. So that is my week eight update. Again, sorry about missing that week seven, but some things are just unavoidable. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you again next week.